So, is your government preparing you for an airborne Ebola attack? Well, I just saw a mainstream news uh, channel um, display a readiness campaign for airborne Ebola. That's right, airborne Ebola. And I'll play an excerpt from that right now, actually. They don't know what's wrong with their friend, just that he's bloody and not breathing. Scared, they dump the limp body in front of police who are guarding a makeshift hospital. Why do you come in? I want to see a doctor. You're a sick, 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 the trickle of cases becomes a steady flow, with only the most serious being allowed in. The body bags begin to pile up. Kathy Mueller from Ace Channel News, who can I talk to here? As soon as possible, we need it now. People are panicking at home. We need to tell them what's going on. That's right. She said an airborne version of the Ebola virus. She said that it was very contagious and very deadly. And I agree. I agree. It would be very deadly and very contagious. And um, I know the H1N1 was very mild um, and very, very weak uh, viral airborne uh, flu-like symptoms, but the Ebola, now there you go, that should be enough to scare the shit out of anybody. And also, I'll keep playing this uh, video. This scenario involves an airborne version of the Ebola virus. It's highly contagious and deadly. It starts off with a high fever, stomach pain, and red and itchy eyes. High fever, stomach pains, and itchy eyes. And I think she's going to go on to say how blood will come out of your eyes and ears or something like that. Can develop into internal and external bleeding. The Ebola virus kills 90% of the people it infects. Fever, stomach pain, and red and itchy eyes, but can develop into internal and external bleeding. Did she say that it kills 90% of its victims? That's a pretty high number. 90%. Okay, so that's a 9 out of 10 kill ratio. Uh, that's pretty scary as well. So I'll keep playing this. And this is this was broadcast on a mainstream channel. So this isn't no Alex whatever, Alex Jones or this isn't no conspiracy theory channel. This is uh, I think this was a channel news. This was broadcast on a channel news, which is a mainstream Canadian broadcasting. I think Canadian broadcasting channel. The Ebola virus kills 90% of the people it infects. <laughs> So I guess that would really, really suck if um, there was a uh, a contagious virus of this magnitude, and um, it would definitely, definitely be very deadly. 
Uh, some of the one of the good things about the Ebola virus is that it's kind of like a wildfire. It usually um, without uh, it usually kills so fast that it burns itself out very quickly. But based on the um, based on what was shown in the news channel and the preparations, it seemed like this this viral um, this airborne viral contagion actually um, uh, I think it has some sort of uh, small mutation where it actually kills people slower than the the ones that were experimented on in um, Africa. So that was a that was the video. Um, I think it was called Pneumonic Plague Ebola Pandemic Training. And it had government officials training people. I, wait, training the military and the healthcare workers to uh, prepare for something like this. So if it does hit, hit uh, a town near you, I think it would I think preparation. I, I think preparations would be really irrelevant. I think the best thing to do is just to really stay out of major population centers, um, and to really avoid uh, in contact with other people because you just just really don't know. And since this is a very very destructive disease, I mean. Um, it may be one of the catalysts, it may be one of the catalysts for political control, um, but it also may be a catalyst for uh, population reduction.